It's November 25th. I have not written in several days. Um, however, it's now like 10.30 at night and I just got back from my friend's house. We watched the free solo movie and I know that writing a book is not like scaling a mountain or scaling a cliff, but I feel so inspired right now to like knock out the rest of the book. And I graduate in less than a month and that's when I wanted to be done by and so Hopefully this little kick of inspiration is really helpful. In <laughs> fact, <laughs> it is it's November 29th, which means that I have not written anything since November 21st. That means that I have gone a full week without writing in NaNoWriMo. This was kind of expected because I was in kind of like a, we'll call it a rough, we'll call it a tired mental state after I finished my art history paper um, on November 21st. And then since then I have written absolutely nothing. But we also had Thanksgiving and I went out of town with family and that was all really, really good. And I'm glad that I spent that time the way that I did. I wouldn't have changed anything. Um, it's just that, you know, Tomorrow is the last day of NaNoWriMo, and I am only at... Well, actually, I've done incredibly well this month. My adjusted goal was 25,000 words, and even though it's uh, November 29th, on November 21st, because I have not written since then, I hit 24,649 words. So I'm, like, almost there, which is crazy. Most of those words were intended slash went into my um, project DE, which was what I was hoping to work on for NaNoWriMo. And that one got up to 17,870 words, um, or the total word count of the 24-ish thousand that I have written for NaNoWriMo. The 17,000 was for DE. Um, I've written 51 words for my side project CF. I've written... <laughs> And I quote three words of poetry, um, 165 words for CBH, um, like 2,060 words for other creative, and about 4,500 for homework, which is fair. And I have several more papers coming up because it's almost finals, but I still also want to finish a rough draft of DE by the day I graduate, which is now three weeks away. Which like bring is like its whole other set of problems. Um, something else that I was thinking about today is I kind of wish writing was less sedentary um, because I've been really inspired to be active recently and I don't have like a walking treadmill or something where, well, that's, I don't have a walking treadmill where I can like put my computer on it and like work. And so I might try to do something with that tomorrow. We'll see. But I already worked out today, which is great. Um, it's now like 7.45 at night. I recently got back from my trip and I am going to the Harry Potter um, movie and concert tomorrow, which I'm hoping is gonna be really lovely. But I also feel like now I have to earn it because I've not been writing. So I feel like I need to set a goal for tonight and tomorrow I want to finish strong and then I'll probably, uh, I might continue making these videos until December 21st as I try to finish what I'm going to call a rough draft. The story is so big that I don't know if I can get there, but it just needs to get done. I have a lot of time during finals that I won't be actually studying for finals because I have like a full week and a half um, from the last day of class to my only final which is on the last possible day before graduation. And so that wouldn't take too long to study for, especially if I space it out, which means that I will be able to be writing. And so keep your eyes open for more videos like this because I'm going to continue them for the next like three-ish weeks, hopefully. I just need to, I just need to do this. I think it would be too much to try and get to 30,000 words tonight and tomorrow. So I'm kind of hoping to go to bed early-ish tonight, but 
I am only 5,400 words away, and so it could be accomplished. That would be cool. That would still be my most productive um, writing month ever. You know what, why not? Let's shoot for it. If not, I'll end up with like 2,000 or 28,000, and that'll be still like any, like this is just wild to me. Actually, we're gonna go for a solid 20,000 in DE, which is 2,200-ish words more than what I currently have, so that's not gonna be too hard. And then maybe shoot for, you know what, yeah, the 2,200 is fantastic, then I'll hit 20,000 words in DE. That's crazy progress, I'm very happy with that. And then we will continue on writing and see just like how far I can get in the next, <laughs> uh, this evening and tomorrow before I go to the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in concert. Okay, let's do this. I just finished writing out my to-do list for today and tomorrow, and only one of them is writing, and that's at the very top of the list, to reach 200,000 words in DE, um, which is not a big deal. A lot of the rest of these things are just going to be used as productive breaks when I'm writing, but I am gonna see how many of these things I can still get done tonight while also writing, because right now this feels like I'm procrastinating writing, which I kind of am. Ooh, I'm also procrastinating by doing this, and so let's get started on some of these things. So I actually just fixed this. Um, I found some words in my notes that I hadn't already accounted for, and so I added those in. So now I'm at a total of 26,187. Kind of the point of the list that I'm making and acting on and cleaning up and everything is because I graduate in three weeks and so I want to be in a really good headspace and the apartment being clean and a lot of these things just need to get taken care of and so I think it's a really good idea that I'm just getting them out of the way over this weekend because like none of my friends are in town, my roommates aren't home, I have very little homework to do and so it's just kind of good to get it all out of the way so that I can focus on finishing school and writing in the month of December. I ended up getting five out of the 27 items on my list done tonight, which is wonderful. And I wrote 423 words, which is nice because I haven't written for an entire week. So that was actually really productive. Um, I think I'm gonna try and go to bed early tonight so that I can do a lot tomorrow. All right, it's day 30. It's 1.38 p.m. I did not sleep well last night, thus I overslept. And so I've been up for about 45 minutes, which is not great. But I have already completed one of the things on my list, which was to figure out what I was turning in for my last creative writing um, assignment. And now I'm going to try and hit, I'm going to like push to finish NaNoWriMo um, with my now goal of 20,000 words in DE. In order to get to 20,000 words from where I currently stand, which is 18,293 words, I'm going to need to write 1,707 words today. Okay, so I have not gotten a ton of writing done, but it is already time for me to go to the symphony, so we'll see if I get anything done after. I just got back from seeing Harry Potter in concert. It was really good. Um, basically, hearing the music live just intensifies. I don't know, it was, it was really, really good. Um, it is now 10.52. There is an hour and eight minutes of NaNoWriMo left, so I'm gonna try and power through and write until midnight and see just like how much I can get done. I just passed 25,000 words in this document. Yay! I'm doing pretty good on time. It's now 11.19 and I just have to write 475 more words to meet my goal of 20,000 total for the month of November in DE. I 
I hit it. And this is just kind of fun and cute. I did go a couple words over, but the last thing that I stopped off on was um, the sentence, she felt peace, which is just really cool. Um, that's really fun. I did it. I guess that's it for NaNoWriMo this year. I'm happy with it. I think I accomplished a lot. I did accomplish a lot. Also, it's 11.38 on November 30th, and so I finished a few minutes early. Just entering in my final word counts. And my totals were 20,011 words in DE, and a total of 28,328 words. Okay, so I only tracked the writing sprint time that I spent in DE, and my total for that was 13 hours, which is not a whole lot, but considering that I write in like 10 or 15 minute writing sprints, and just do like a lot of those, not a lot, but like enough of those that I get my word count in for the day, that's not a whole lot, but I also had 10 zero word days. Just kind of crazy. I had five days where I went over 2,000 words, and my highest word day was November 14th, where I wrote 3,574 words. I'm like, I'm very happy with, I'm very happy with how this turned out and what I got accomplished. Oh, I should probably update the site before it hits midnight. That actually doesn't look all that bad. I don't know why this one started so low. Don't like that, but that's really not bad. I did over half of what Nano asks for, which I'm very, very happy with. This was my most productive word month, I think, ever documented, at least on my spreadsheet, which I've been keeping for a while now. And so the only thing on here that I see is I did get 21,345 words in the month of July in 2018, so over a year ago but the total number of words that I wrote that month was uh, 22,000. And so I think it's really cool that I had such a strong word month and that I haven't in a while. We'll keep watching and see what, what I managed to accomplish in December because I'm trying to wrap up this book before I graduate, which is going to be hard with finals and everything. But that's my plan. For now, I think I'm gonna go to bed, just kind of revel in my glory. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.